welcome back to Project Zomboid. It's Roland here, and today, today what you're looking at is the aftermath of a slight overrun infestation thing that rolled in in the middle of the night, and yeah, kind of, kind of did us a little bit dirty. So I ended up just picking off a little herd in this corner, and just, yeah, just, just slapping zeds basically, just like that, and it was, it was pretty good fun but we made a right mess of the fire station, which is never ideal. So I always like to keep the place, places with the garage doors fairly clean, but not this time, unfortunately. But yeah, we're, we're off to a pretty solid start, and that was very close, very close. We're absolutely filthy as well, which I would like to fix as soon as possible. But yeah, we're doing pretty well. We are six days, 10 hours in, which means any time now there should be a helicopter rolling overhead which is, hopefully, damn it, that is annoying, kind of hoping that this would have the emergency broadcast radio on it, but it does not, which is fine, so I do definitely need to get on top of that and hopefully track that down, because that would be more than ideal, but I think for now, I should probably load up some of these axes, Christ, that's a hell of a lot, isn't there? I wonder if you've got more time after. Nah, definitely need to be on the ball with that though. Might take some garbage bags as well. Wouldn't mind getting a uh, water collector set up at the farmhouse. Probably won't get used, or at least used for very long, but the short term that it does get used is going to be unreal. Alright, let's just get some of these bits broken down and get working on that electrical skill so it's going to be vital as soon as we start moving on and need to hotwire cars so the more we do with it the better but yeah i think i'm going to head back home get hmm or we could that's probably a bit a bit too awkward to defend without front doors in i suppose i could build a wall Little temporary fix up. Yeah, should we do it? Yeah, let's load the car up with all our gear. And then chop down some trees. Pretty sure I've got a saw on me, so I don't need to stress about that. But yeah, it would be nice to have this place as a little forward base. Let me get those bits in there as well. So it's just getting a bit too hot. We were fighting and just sweating buckets. Overheating. Yeah, it was not ideal, to say the least. Yeah, this should hopefully help out with the carpentry a bit. Normally we don't have the level 2 book, but... So rescue you gotta take sometimes. I guess we could search a couple of these houses, couldn't we? Yeah, that'll do for now. Let's go get rested and then just head over to the neighbours, I reckon. See how we go. I think the first house is usually... Usually the decider for whether we carry on or not. So you tend to find out if there's any bookshelves and things like that. Just if it's worth looting, more or less. Okay, one bookshelf. Not bad. Wonder if we can get very lucky in the first one. No. No, we can't. Although, there's a pretty lucky shelf. Oh my god. My heart just sank. I thought I heard a chomp. Get that closed up. Don't want to take the risk at all. Get out of there, Chumpy. Oh, I can't believe how how almost dead we were. Christ. Another hiking bag, that's always nice. So I might just... Ooh, another axe. You can absolutely let yourself in. Come on in, the stumps are fine. Thank you, sir. Let's get you closed up and keep on keeping on. So I'm kind of hoping, kind of hoping there's a few shelves out here. No, there's not. Didn't really expect much, to be fair. Oh, I can't believe how bad they are just from that little, little scratch. Of course, we're going to take the rubber duck. What sort of animal do you think I am? Be nice if we can get some good food though, just like that. And that, just to top it off. Any ice cream? 
No, yeah, I've got some mutton and sausages there. Take those all day long. Get them straight in the old cooker. Almost burnt, but still pretty tasty. Let's get a sausage down whilst we're here. Help with the healing as much as we can. The rest of that can probably stay as is. Yeah. Alright, let's let's break down this TV and then head next door. Mostly is of garages as well by the looks of it. Very dark garages, but garages nonetheless. I don't have a flashlight either. I'm sure I had one. I wonder what I did with that. Dunno. We'll have to have to track one down regardless. Can't be walking around like this. Definitely cannot be walking into that. <laughs> painkillers, painkillers, painkillers. No big bags in there either. They are just, just a herd. Just a herd. That's a terrible idea. Yeah, now screw that. Get me out of there. All right. Well, that probably puts. A little stopper to our plan, I reckon. Mm, or does it? Do we just go get some sleep and hope that we feel fine in the morning? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Definitely wasn't a... no. No carpentry book for me. That's fine. Alright, bedtime. See you guys bright and early. Okay, we woke up to a smash at about 5.50. And... there he is. No trying to suss out that one. He's there ready and waiting. And that scratch has done us pretty dirty. So it's another day of pain by the looks of it. So I think I might just head straight home. It's probably the best idea. So if we can get out with everything we've got and not really stress too much, then life would be good. Probably should have left an axe down here, but that's fine. I can, I can cross that bridge when I get there. But for now, I reckon we just back out, play it safe, and deal with the pain of... Well, the pain of the pain. Says it all, really. <laughs> Don't need to try and think of anything for that. But yeah, let's head back home. I can't remember if I've got a Carpentry 2 book there. Not sure. I don't think I do, but it'll be worth a look. Either way, it's going to be worth just resting and taking a couple of days out and, you know, just boarding up the house, basically. So we've got, well, we've got plenty of axes now. So cutting down trees and getting barricades should not be an issue at all. But yeah, let's get home. I do like having my own little park and space out here. That is one thing that will not, it will just never let me down. And I love seeing it every single time. All right, what trees do we have? I don't think there's a ton, is there? Uh, there's a few. Where is a few? Any Zeds? The better question. Two. Hello, beautiful. Still slow as ever. There we go. Stompies always work. Always count on a stompy to save your day. Alright, let's probably tear up some sheep ropes. More friends. Guessing there's a, a decent sized herd in the middle of that field. No. Nothing at all. One guy down there. Try to keep on top of all the stragglers. I did a big silly and took out the old uh, post box as well. Which I'm still a little bit upset about. Can I pick it up? No. Just stuck with it on the ground. That is sad. Yeah, my lady. You're probably the most well-dressed, cleanest-looking Zed I've seen. Fair play. All right, what we got? Jeans. Absolutely make the most of those. And grab a couple of sheet ropes whilst we're at it. Thank you, ladies and gents. All right, what we got? What we got? Cut down tree. Christ. Took a hell of a lot of work. So we have leveled up our maintenance a tiny bit, so repairing these should be a bit nicer. And once our carpentry skill gets up even more, it'll be ten times better. So kind of playing the long game on these axes. So I think keep as many 
wood glue tubes as I can find, really. Literally just going like for like. Um, that's what we got. Is it two? Yeah, it's two things per one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, should be plenty anyway. Let's go get bored here. Alright, let's unstack everything just out here and start with all the broken windows, I think. I'm sure I've got a saw somewhere. Ah, oh, we're very, very tired. Can we rest? We can rest. Okay, saw. you got to be around here somewhere. Carpentry 2. Beautiful. And garden saw. Alright, well, before we do that then, I'm going to read a book. I would like to like to make the most out of those levels as much as I can possibly get would be ideal uh, let's just dump off these bad boys and then go sit in a very dark room for the next 12 hours because we're incredibly sleepy too okay let's get some reading on tell you what though I'm absolutely loving the way that our skills are going so I think going as the little barrier flipper was probably the best shout I've made Short Blade is absolutely killing it. Sneaking skill from the Hunter is just doing bits. Absolutely wonderful. Light Footed is, isn't too far behind. The only thing I'm going to struggle with is fitness, I think. Getting that back to level 5 is going to be pretty crucial. So I should probably work on that sooner rather than later. So I think, I think getting that ball rolling before we leave is probably the best way to go. Where's the bar from? Here she be. Fill her up. Beautiful. But yeah, I reckon, reckon getting that back up to level 5 before we go anywhere too far is probably not a bad idea, as much as I hate doing it. So we're kind of balanced out by the high strength, which is good. It's not quite as high as I want it, I'd rather have it on level 8, but even still, level 7 is a good touch, and it fills up very quickly as well, just doing normal day-to-day -day stuff, especially when you're as much of a pack rat as I am, so... Shouldn't really struggle too much there. But yeah, fitness is going to be the killer, I think. Alright, what don't we need? We don't really need you. Let's just start the book pile on the table. And get those logs sawn. So I'm kind of glad we came home. Didn't quite realise I had that book. I had a feeling, but wasn't fully set on it. Um, nails... Definitely got a box of them somewhere. I know that much. In here. Uh, nails. There we go. And I might just grab one hand torch. Of course we go for the one with a full battery. Ain't no silly boy. Alright, first things first. Remove any broken glass. And... Do we not have a hammer either? Christ. Trained professional. You would not think I've put, like... Almost 2,000 hours into this game, would you? <laughs> Doing silly mistakes like that. Alright, here we go. Round two. There we go. Alright, so we've got maybe five windows to board up. So I'm, I'm only doing the broken ones to start with, and then I want to get a front door on there ASAP. As soon as we can get one, I'll get one. And we could also potentially see what we need for it. Level 4. Yeah, it's not quite going to cut it. It's going to say it'd be nice to get a rain collector going, but yeah, we might just have to might just have to deal with the lack of at the minute. So the water's still on, so it's not the end of the world. I did see a farming book in there as well. I wouldn't mind getting that going. Clear that up. Did I ever read the tailor in one? No. I believe we've got a tailor in one somewhere, so I should get on top of that too. Ooh. Nothing at all. <laughs> Not worth getting excited about in the slightest. How far away from level three? Pretty close. Uh, nothing else in there. Sewing kit though, and a rubber duck. Little ducky can stay in there for now. All right, what else did I want to do? I wanted to get a wall built here, didn't I? Just to block this area off, it might actually tie us over to the next level too. That's the hope, anyway. 
And then one door frame. Gives us an extra route in and out. I wouldn't mind getting a door on that too, and also a door on this. But again, we are governed by the lack of carpentry skill. Classic. We're close. One low table away. Close. So I'm just going to get those doors straight in, I think. Ah, I might struggle. Get the front door in, at the very least. One wooden door. There we go. I think that's all we've got gear for. Guess for the time being, whilst we wait for ourselves to, to stop feeling the pain. Should get ourselves cleaned up. Be a good idea anyway. I wonder if we can clean ourselves. Yeah, we can. Can't do clothes though. That's fine. I wonder if I can do clothes with the water bucket. Very handy. Okay, well, we'll give that time to refill. I'm sure it'll get done. Be alright. Alright, let's get the rest of this cleared out. Completely forgot about all of these ones up here as well. Oh, it's going to be such a long day. I hate doing stuff like this. I usually just let them rot, but I don't want to look at it. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be spending a bit longer here than usual, so kind of want to clean them up as much as possible. Oh, what has happened to me? I'm usually the biggest mess in the world, but how times change, eh? How times change. Okay, it's been a day. A day of staring into nothingness. Listen to a helicopter overhead, which can only mean a one terrible, terrible thing. Unless we got very lucky, which I'm kind of praying for. Let's just do the rounds quick. Go the whole way down to the main road. And up to the tree line, maybe. We are quite sad. It says, it's been a couple of days just sat doing not a lot. So we got, we got the wound when we were back in town and I just wanted to wait for it to heal up and haven't taken the bandage off yet but I'm sure it'll be fine so I managed to get a little bit of no I didn't get a bit of TV watching I did that back in town but I got a couple of books read so we're, we're pretty solid I'd say I reckon we're pretty good to go so I think what I would like to do is now that we've got our level 2 carpentry is head back to that fire station and set up a little forward base so I think I think the thing holding me back was just not having that carpentry skill. So I believe there's a couple of houses up here too. Yeah. Wouldn't mind checking these out just before the fridges die. So if I can get some fresh food and well, a little bit of a little bit of carpentry experience would be nice. Then yeah, we'll be we'll be laughing really. Let's have a little browse. Oh, we got some flamingos. Good start. We got one friend waiting for us inside. Please come to the window. Busted anyway. Classic. So we had, had a handful outside, but nothing too crazy. So most of them were actually almost one swings, which more than ideal. So we're getting very good with a short blade, and I'm loving every second of it. So I need to track down some hunting knives, really. They would be nice. All of that food is an absolute wonder. And ah, stale uncooked. That's a sad sight. Let's just take the rest. All of that is also super handy. Get all of that cooked up before it dies out. So I like to make the most of the fresh food whenever I can. Just because it doesn't last forever. Can't let that shrimpy burn. Cooking times on these are unreal. They're all just so different. Unless you're watching that like a hawk, it's impossible to keep on top of. Just gonna top our water up here too. Oh, I did get washed up as well, but our leather jacket is looking pretty banged up. So I wouldn't mind getting that repaired, like, ASAP, really. If I can find that tailoring book, that'd be wonderful. I'm sure I've seen one. Almost certain of it. It's probably, probably back at those houses in town. Yeah, not really ideal, but that's okay. Life goes on. Let's just grab what we can, take all the nails. I want to know what's in this little cupboard, too. These are usually quite good. Another hand torch, we could probably... Dismantle. I will favour our one just so I don't lose it. It's a lot of batteries. Doing pretty good on that front. 
uh, favourite. There we go. Uh, I think that's it for for all of that. I'll take that book all day long. And the rest is all good. Alright, on to the next. can hear a few growlers. Could just be the one. Nope. There we go. There's the other two. And one more coming for us. Christ, what are you up to? Ah, oh, okay. Fair enough. Fancy going away from their food. Sorry, my dears. Dinner is no longer served. I right, did see some banging in there. Get out of here. I'll tell you what, I haven't seen a bar from party for a little while. It's quite nice, but I feel like I'm, feel like I'm putting a guard up. Wow, well, let my guard down, I guess. And it's kind of scary. It's a scary thought to have. Um, carpentry level four is on the horizon. I love it. I love to see it. Scuff down some bacon. Wish I had some pancake mix. Get the old bacon pancakes going. That'd be nice. See another water bottle there. Absolutely going to take that. I wonder if I've got the uh, welder's mask on us. Nah. Fortunately not. So it would have been good to get a little bit of metalwork and skill in. But that's fun. Carpentry will do for now. Whole lot of good gear again. Oh, it just gets better. Dreamy. Probably a bit pointless taking the thingies. The kidney beans. Another pork chop and some fresh frozen ham. Beautiful. Scoff you down, get you straight in the oven. And then that'll probably do us to be fair. So I might might just do a little scout on the other two, see what the crack is. And uh yeah, I can't really loot anything, so we're pretty full now. So worth just keeping an eye at least. Break down the TV. It's annoying as much as I'd love to keep all this stuff. We're just already way too overweight. Ah, another bed. Beautiful. Back in with the nails. So I'm pretty conscious of nails this run. We've got like... I think we've got about three boxes back at home. But I already know that I'm going to be bearing them for a hell of a lot this run. Don't know why. I just feel like, feel like I haven't built in a very long time. So building is going to be pretty hot. So I've missed it. I've missed it a hell of a lot. And I'd love to jump back into it. Come on. I hate how slow being sad makes you. Wish we could take like a forever happy trait. That'd be nice. That'd be very nice. Yeah, let's check this place out. Maybe not. I hate. This is the worst thing, right? You have to climb the entire way across the bed. It's the most frustrating thing in the world. Ooh. That's a pretty good find. The tissues in there as well. Indie Stone, you dirty dogs. I love it. <laughs> you dirty, dirty dogs. Still always keeping an eye for a journal too. Got the notebooks, but the journals are just way bigger. Oh, wrist and pan. I always end up on the hunt for those and I can never find them, so I'm going to take it whilst we can. And we may as well take all of that. You know what, let's just get heavily overweight and figure it out. Ooh, actually. That's what all reliable's for. So if we can do all this one-handed, that'll be fun. Just about keep the weight down as well. Perfect. Yeah, look at that. Dreamy. Nothing we really need. Well, on to the last one, I guess. Break you down. See ya. And I shift that battery over as well, don't I? Yeah. Nice. All right, funnel house. Let's go. Nothing too exciting in there, but we did get a little bit of extra carpentry skill, which, yeah, I'll take. I'll take that all day long. I might just grab that barbecue as well. Fully push ourselves over the edge. So once the uh, once the power goes, we need a way of cooking food. And, well, whether this becomes a permanent base or a full back base or whatever we do with it, 
At least we'll have a point to be able to make food at, which, yeah, it's all I can ask for, really. But we're looking good. We've got most of the windows boarded up. I missed that front one, and I think there's a back one that needs done, but I might actually do those out of metal. Um, place this down here. Don't really want to use it in the kitchen, but yeah, sometimes you got to do what you got to do, you know? Just got to do what you got to do. All right, let's get all of the fresh stuff straight in here. I want to keep it as fresh as possible for as long as possible. That is one tasty looking fridge. I'm jealous of that fridge. Um, we got a whole drawer to fill up with food. I believe all of this is basically just food. And some socks. <laughs> Always keep my socks in the food drawer. A couple of roasting pans, they're gonna be very handy. And a bandage might actually just keep on me. The socks, tear them up. So I'm sure I made one of these. There we go. We got a crafting box starting, slowly but surely. So I will will eventually make a start on it once we find the book, but until then, it can live in the drawer. So there's no harm. And the last of the food just down here. Oh, a little misclick. Just like that, we're looking pretty solid again. So I wouldn't mind just cleaning up the last little bits, like the propane torches and stuff like that. So we've got, just got little snags really. I think that's it to be fair. Guess we can always start the uh, the rubber ducky army. My favorite, <laughs> can't beat it. All right, time for bed I guess. Let's call it an early night. It's quite nice coming down to half a steak for break, half a ham for breakfast, even better. So I think what I want to do just to wrap up the day is head on down to the little housing estate nearby. So we've got, well, there's a hell of a lot of buildings down there and I wouldn't mind seeing what's going on really. That's, yeah, the, the main reason for our trip. Um, do I do that or do I save it? I'll save it. I might take, could take the garden fork. Nice little backup, you know. And we've still got the handgun on our hip just in case, which reminds me I do need to find a holster ASAP too. So I've seen seen so many police ads as well and just strolled straight past them. There'll be one somewhere. Somewhere out here. Ah, okay. Starting to see where the Zeds were going. Fun. So what what I would very much like to do is just get into the corner of that housing estate and see what the crack is. So if there's if there's potential to move in and can't just wean out a few of the outside edge houses then we're laughing if it's too overrun I am going to leave it so I think once before I took maybe 20,000 zeds there and I do not want to be doing that again that was a tough run so it was, it was good fun but just hours and hours on end of just slaughtering zeds that's it was, it was brutal it was brutal good fun but kind of just just samey really very samey but yeah let's get to the corner down here we're not too far out not a lot of zeds on the way either so basically that is the point that i want to get to just these houses on this this little corner piece so i think i might try and get through the front gate just because well if we can do it that way and come in through the main entrance then that would be more than ideal hopefully that jacket's better than ours no it's not Ours just looks very banged up for some reason. I don't really know why, but I don't know. Strange. Very strange. But yeah, I don't think we're too far out from the main entrance. And so far, so good. Yeah, there you go. We can see it. So far, so good. We've gained a couple of weapons. Nothing too crazy. Kitchen knives, hunting knives, things like that. All the standards, basically. And it looks like we're about to gain a hand axe if that Zed doesn't stray too far. Which, again, would be wonderful. So I, I don't think I'll raise another another just axe legend. Not like old Pete anyway, but we can certainly have it as a backup if need be. So the spears are wonderful, but sometimes you just need a little bit more firepower. But yeah, not too far to go now. Surprisingly very quiet. I can hear a Z, but I can't see a Z. Ah, there he is. Here's our hand axe, man. Hey, old fella. 
the last few. There we go. Fairly good, fairly nice. Alright, now time to get to the corner. This place is also going to be perfect for uh, oh, metalworking too. I was going to say carpentry, but I'll take what I can get. I'm never going to question any of it. I really don't like the way these walls work. They just like clear a tiny chunk when you get close to it. Ah, oh, this is actually where we did the, uh, the floor as lava run. We started over in the right corner instead of the left. Well, depending on how you're looking at the map. We are currently in the right corner if you look at the map. Maybe the left. Top something. <laughs> we're in this corner, not that corner, basically. That's that's what I'm trying to say. Alright, we're going to leave the garages for now. It'd be nice if we could find a sledgehammer to get into them, but don't think we're going to have that luck today. But we are off to a good start. Ooh, a book. Come on. Fine. We'll get it done. There we go. Much better. Alright, well, I think now that we've made it here, I can probably comfortably call it a day. So I might just switch over to life and living quick, see if we've got any any more channels to get through. Nah, I don't think so. Don't think we'll have much luck, but. Yeah, I think for the meantime, I'm going to smash out some cheese, get rested, probably spend the night here, and yeah, call it a day. I wonder if we can sit on the sofa. No. Let's spin this chair around and sit on the chair. Our new cosy spot. But yeah, I'm going to love you and leave you just there. Thanks for watching. Massive thanks for member support on the channel. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed. Hopefully, stick around for the next one. Peace.